Ever wondered if a child born in the UK automatically becomes a British citizen? Well, we're here to unravel the mystery surrounding British citizenship for a child born in the UK to non-British parents, as per the updated rules of the Indefinite Leave to Remain or ILR 2024. In the grand scheme of things, there are two main routes that lead to citizenship. First off, if a child is born to a parent who is a British citizen, they're automatically granted the same status. It's akin to receiving a treasured family heirloom. Alternatively, if the parents aren't British citizens, but one of them has a settled status in the UK, the child still qualifies for British citizenship. It's like having a golden ticket to the citizenship party. But what if neither parent has British citizenship or settled status at the time of the child's birth? Fear not, there's still a pathway forward, hand in hand with the parent's immigration journey. In this scenario, it's essential for the child to stay put within the UK until they receive an immigration document or are granted a British passport. The process for a child to become a British citizen when neither parent is a British citizen or has settled status in the UK may seem like a maze. But fear not, there's a way to navigate through it. It's like a game of chess, where every move counts and patience is key. The first move on this chessboard is to stay in the UK and apply as a dependent on the parent's visa route. This is akin to hitching a ride on the same immigration train their parents have embarked upon. It's like joining a caravan, journeying together towards the destination of residency and potential citizenship. Now let's consider the scenario where the chessboard changes. Suppose one or both parents achieve British nationality or settle in the UK while the child is still a minor and residing within the UK. The game takes an exciting turn. The child, being in the UK during this milestone, gains the opportunity to apply for British citizenship. It's like stumbling upon a hidden door, leading straight to the citizenship lounge. The process may seem long and winding, but it's not without its rewards. The child's patience and perseverance, their journey of staying grounded within the UK, can open the doors to a whole new chapter of belonging and identity. It's like finding a secret key that unlocks a treasure chest of opportunities and advantages. Remember every journey starts with a single step, and in this case that step is to stay put within the UK and embark on the journey as a dependent. With patience, perseverance, and a little bit of luck, the child can navigate through the maze and find their way to the cherished title of a British citizen. So, patience and staying grounded within the UK can open the doors to a whole new chapter of belonging and identity for the child. Before the child can embark on the journey of acquiring a British passport, there's one more step to take, filing an application to be registered. This is a crucial part of the process, a final hurdle that needs to be cleared before the child can stand tall, holding their shiny new British passport. The registration process is like the final act in a grand play. It's the crescendo, the culmination of an intricate dance of immigration laws and procedures. The child's parents or guardians need to submit a form called MN1, to the UK Home Office. Along with this form, they also need to attach evidence proving the child's eligibility for British citizenship. This evidence includes things like the child's birth certificate and proof of the parent's immigration status. Now this might sound like a daunting task, but fear not. The UK government provides detailed guidance on how to fill in the form and what documents to include. It's like having a trusted guide leading you through a labyrinth, ensuring you don't lose your way. Once the application is submitted, the waiting game begins. The Home Office will review the application, check all the documents and make a decision. This process can take some time so patience is key, it's like waiting for the curtain to rise on a grand finale. If the application is successful the child will be invited to a citizenship ceremony. This ceremony is a momentous event, a celebration of the child's new identity as a British citizen. It's like the final bow at the end of a grand performance, the applause echoing with the promise of a bright and exciting future. And that wraps up today's video update. If you found our insights valuable and enlightening, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more informative content, and spread the word by sharing with your loved ones. Until next time, stay curious and stay tuned.